Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to another StarCraft 2 cast for the last player standing StarCraft 2 open number 2. Today I'm bringing you a TVT between Fnatic MSI KR, also known as Kawaii Rice, spawning in the bottom right hand spawning position, and TQ Wannabe in the top left hand spawning position as the pink Terran, uh, Kawaii Rice obviously being the yellow Terran, as I'm sure you can see well enough on your screen. Uh, so we've done a couple TVTs today. This is again a round of 32, best of three match. Game number one uh, for Last Player Standing's tournament. Check them out at lastplayerstanding.com, as all our videos will be uploaded there. Again, enough of my plugging. I'm sure uh, you guys are sick of it by now, but i got to make sure that we get all the info out there because this is a very, very well-run tournament. I'm actually quite enjoying doing the casting for it, and I hope they have us do it maybe again sometime, as, uh, as it has been quite a lot of fun, and I enjoy watching the professional-level games and getting a chance to add my own little bit of insight into them, uh, whatever insight you may have gained or uh, maybe pulled your hair out in frustration as you listen to me. Either way, I hope you enjoy the soothing tones of my voice, as I know uh, I do. Yeah. Uh, anyways, to the game. Uh, we are seeing a TBT here. TBT, I've talked enough about the matchup, but we are seeing a very standard opening from TQ Wannabe. We do have a 12 barracks going down. Uh, we do see a 12 refinery, I do believe, going down for Kawaii Rice, uh, refinery before gas. Refinery before gas. Refinery before barracks uh, usually means some sort of tech. We do see a barracks now being dropped on 13 supply. Uh, we do see that refinery is up and going and has been saturated, so we'll see a bit of tech out of that, I'm sure. Blue Flame Hellions seem to be the staple as of late, but I guess you can go a multiple, multitude of different paths. Uh, neither player opting to save up for an expansion yet by the looks of it. We might see a Wonder Axe pass expand out of uh, TQ Wannabe. Again, this, uh, this expansion is very, very easy to take. And it seems to be in the current metagame, most uh, most players seem to like to take that. It gives them an early economic advantage. And if they don't take it and they don't put enough early pressure on, they can let their opponent uh, get get the early economic advantage by taking that instead. So, what else do we see here? Let's tour around both of their bases because I need something to say. There we go. We do see a pink SCV, which would be TQ Wannabe's SCV moving up in position to, it does appear to be to drop a command center. It does look like we're seeing a one racks fast expand out of Wannabe. There goes the command center going down right now. If you can get that up in a decent amount of time, you'll be able to secure the early economic advantage. Just see that gas is being used to start an early factory for Kawaii Rice. Uh, again, Blue Flame Hellions usually the current metagame unit of choice, but I'd really like to see something different. Uh, ever since Slayers ran over everybody at MLG with those Blue Flame Hellions, uh, I've started to use them, realized exactly how effective they are, and I'm already sick of them. Maybe it's just me, but I kind of find them a boring unit to use, so I kind of like to see something maybe a little bit different. Out of Kawaii Rice today. Then again, nothing wrong with Blue Flame Hellions. They are still incredibly effective. Uh, so we'll see exactly where this factory turns out to lead. No command center in the works yet. I'm sure we'll see an expansion behind uh, some sort of pressure from Kawaii Rice. It seems to be the way it's going. We do see another barracks being dropped for Wannabe, as well as him taking his first gas, uh, which will allow him to get some tech up, as tech uh, in every form requires gas. Marine's going to be sitting here. I do believe he's chasing. Both of these Marines, I do believe, are chasing away some sort of a scouting SCV. Uh, those pesky scouts, anyways, they always manage to find a way to get in. Tech lab being started on the factory, as well as the starport going down. So we might actually see something maybe a little bit different. Uh, I said Blue Flame Hellions, but I might be wrong as the factory lifts off away from that tech lab. I'll expect the uh, the starport to be landed on there. Maybe an early Raven, although much more likely will be a Banshee, as Banshee openers are, uh, well, with or without cloak, are still very good harassment tools. And actually kind of an old school way to play uh, TVT. Um, I'm liking the choice by Kawaii Rice here. Although he does still not have that expansion up. So the longer he leaves that uh, that down, the uh, the more TQ Wannabe will have an economic advantage. If you look at the income tab right now, Wannabe is currently tied in Harvesters, which means that he won't be pulling in any additional income. Although he will be mining from additional uh, mineral patches, which will allow him to be slightly more efficient when he gets more Harvesters. To see a Banshee is the unit of choice coming out here. Uh, get away from that units tab. We do have equal number of harvesters, pretty equal number of marines, and of course the only difference being a hellion for uh, Kawaii Rice, which I do believe is being used currently for map control. Back to our production tab, we do see that combat shield is coming down for Wannabe. Doesn't look like he's going to invest in some marines, which is good because his opponent is not investing in too much into hellions. We don't see any blue flame or additional hellions being made, so uh, we'll see exactly if this is the right decision for him. Third gas now being taken. He only has one harvester, two, three. There we go in that gas. And he does appear to be, nope, wrong player. Has not taken his uh, third gas yet. Kawaii Rice actually was the one that appears to be taking his second gas. Uh, has not taken his expansion gas as he is getting his expansion command center up. This, uh, this Banshee is flying across here. It will not have cloak. 
can be annoying nonetheless, though his cloak is uh, easily negated by uh, any sort of scam. But we do see a missile turret's already in place here. Must have scouted the starport, or must have suspected maybe a, a banshee rush. So we did put that uh, preemptive missile turret there to stop any sort of funny business from happening. This banshee will be all but negated there, although he could swing around to the main as there is no missile turret over there. Uh, Marines coming in to try and intercept the banshee, but it will just fly away into the abyss, uh, leaving itself floating over some very scary looking trees. Actually, I, I would not want to be over those trees. That kind of scares me. Blue Flame now started for Kauai Rice. Obviously, he is investing a little bit more in Hellions than I'd originally anticipated. Moving out with a small force of two Hellions and a couple Marines. Uh, keeping this banshee here just to be kind of annoying. Uh, he's going to keep these Marines here, which actually will leave the front slightly undefended. I do believe uh, uh, less, un less defended anyways. Four Marines out of that. Uh, it's still a fairly sizable infantry force, though. We'll see exactly how effective these Hellions with Blue Flame and these Marines according... Or, jeez. These Marines and Hellions with a Banshee will be still effective. Stimpak now started for TQ Wannabe, as well as uh, Infantry Weapons plus one. See some plus one upgrades coming down here with the Stim. Uh, might be trying to hit a timing with that, but he will be attacked before that timing hits. Meaning that uh, Quirice might be able to do a bit of damage and try and pick off some Marines and Marauders with that Banshee. Basically just being a pain. Not doing a whole lot else other than that. Waiting for Blue Flame to finish up. As soon as that does, he's going to be able to charge in here. And uh, might be able to do some damage to these Marines, actually. Marines mount quite quickly to Hellions, especially when Hellions have Blue Flame, as they do do additional bonus damage to Light, which Marines are considered to be. I do believe, since they have no armor. Perfect. Three additional Hellions are being made by Kawaii Rice, who is currently out macroing his opponent. In terms of supply, he does have an additional 12 supply, which in this early game is a fairly big deal. Although Wannabe does have the defensive position, and he will be able to... Uh, Use that high ground to get a couple additional shots off. You see uh, four Blue Flame Hellions loaded up in a med back with a Banshee for support. Moving in around to the expansion, he will be able to drop these Hellions and probably be able to roast everything that's here. As I don't believe that he'll be able to move into position in time. And there they go. They will basically melt the Marines and the Banshee's going to do some additional damage. SCVs are pulled, maybe trying to corral these uh, Hellions a bit. Hellions are basically doing immense damage to the worker line here. Uh, they're still alive in the base. And they will be picked off hopefully by these Marauders. I don't imagine they don't have concussive shell yet or if they... Uh, they're actually in production, which is to say it's being researched. The Hellions do go down, but they were quite effective in harassing, as this force is still here. But uh, get harassed by Kawhi Rice, who's able to drop in the back of the base and do a significant amount of damage to that worker line, actually. There's uh, obviously significantly less workers here than there was before. And Kawhi Rice is going to go home, uh, or at least back up a little bit, pleased with the harassment he was able to do. Twelve workers killed in that little engagement there. Uh, very successful by him. Do see a small force from TQ Wannabe moving out here? Uh, actually, I don't think Kawaii Rice is quite enough to deal with this, as these guys do have Stim. I believe the Marines also have Combat Shield, and they're going to attack the Marine taking the tower. Going to force Kawaii Rice to back up, as I don't believe he has Stim or Combat Shield. Uh, he's lacking in the infantry upgrades. Obviously, he's not going too heavy in infantry. do see a factory pumping out uh, siege tanks for TQ Wannabe, as well as an additional command center being built for Kawaii Rice. Actually, for both players, are building a command center in their base. Uh, fairly similar timings on that, and probably moving out to take their natural expansions quite quickly. Uh, full naturals anyways, they already took the naturals in their bases. And I digress. You do see plus one infantry armor coming down for TQ Wannabe, trying to invest heavily into this bio. Uh, I do like bio style against TV, uh, in TVT. It's a little bit different, although if your opponent goes very heavy into tanks, bio style does, uh, doesn't work quite as well. You have to be very effective with your drops and try and get around the tank line to, where have, to have bio work against a heavy tank line. Doesn't look like we're going heavy tanks, so we are seeing lots of Hellions. Uh, reactor starport there, so we might see some medbacks there, either for Helling or for drops, uh, use them as dropships, or to see some healing, but I doubt we'll see a lot of healing. As a big composition in this army appears to be Hellions, meaning that Hellion drops in the back of the base will be very effective for those medbacks. Still pumping out a reactor to a factory full of Hellions, as well as some uh, additional Hellions from the Tech Lab uh, factory. I guess we're not going to see any siege tanks quite yet. We do see siege mode being researched by both players, quite rise a little bit ahead on that one. He will get a Viking to get a little bit of vision. Wannabe loads up some uh, some units in that medvac. I don't know if he meant to do that or not. We'll see if uh, he manages to pull off a successful drop in the back of the base. Or maybe he manages to be clever with that medvac. He doesn't move it forward. Drops some units back here. Maybe be able to attack this mineral line. But uh, uh, Quirice is going to move out with his Blue Flame Hellions and attack these infantry while they're undefended. Actually, they basically just melt right through that infantry. Blue Flame Hellions obviously do significant damage to any sort of bio that Terran can produce. Medvac picks up a little bit and will be able to come back. But this, uh, this drop in the back of the base is even thwarted because Hellions are very fast and are very mobile able to move and intercept drops quite quickly if you're not uh, careful. Want to be still some uh, some units here causing a bit of damage, but I imagine these Hellions will probably pick it off quite quickly. And if not, this Viking takes out the medvac. So these units will be unable to be lifted off and taken away. It's only a matter of time before this Marauder goes down as well. Uh, very unsuccessful attack by TQ Wannabe. Quiris is able to hold it off very effectively. 
uh, with his forces of uh, basically mass hellion, which we have been seeing more recently in TVTs, as it's quite an effective way to deal with marines, uh, as well as obviously kill lots of SCVs. Another small force moving out here, we do see a barracks being dropped in the low ground, command center yet to be lifted off. Uh, these two armies are actually going to pass each other, neither one's going to see the other, I don't believe. Lions are going to come around to scout and see if there's a secret base taken over here. Uh, actually, they're going to meet up with their med back. Maybe do a bit of a draw from the back. We'll have to keep an eye on that. In the meantime, uh, Hellion's moving back around to their base for Kauai Rice as he sees a force from TQ Wannabe moving out. Medvacs, Hellions, no, Medvacs, Marines, Marauders, Tanks uh, appears to be the composition of choice. And we do see this drop has occurred in the back of the base. Uh, so SUVs are pulled and one Marauder stems forward trying to kill the Hellion. Uh, one Marauder won't be enough and actually these Hellions might get in and do significant amount of damage. But here we go. There's a big confrontation down here. Which I do believe uh, Kauai Rice is winning. Uh, he does have the Sphere Viking County to be able to kill off this medback, and actually Kawhi Rice is forced to turn around. Uh, these tanks from TQ Wannabe are apparently too much for him to handle, and it does appear that the Hellions... Oh, and all these Hellions are still alive, attacking supply depots. Both players, too, distracted by this to care, and the siege tanks are quickly cleaned up by the landed Vikings and Hellions, as they were uh, a little bit too close for the siege tanks to deal with. Hellions now are going to be properly microed, and will be uh, probably blasting away at that SCV line until they're able to be killed by these Marauders, which uh, successfully take it out as of now. Uh, something got killed here. I actually didn't manage to see a bit of it. That could be a drill. Maybe it's an SCV. Uh, random bits fly off apparently when you get exploded by blue flame. Never knew that. Mass exodus of SCVs going down to the third base for Kauai Rice, as well as dropping a fourth command center. Be able to lift that off. Uh, you practiced a lot last night. Uh, giving props to Wannabe apparently. He's doing better than Kauai Rice. Might have given him credit for. Uh, this game is actually still fairly even. Wannabe is obviously uh, quite behind in supply, but he does have the ability to pull it back if he manages his unit smartly. <laughs> apparently Wannabe went mech. Uh, uh, Wannabe's not really going mech, but apparently he heard that... Ooh. Uh, very clever little talk here. Uh, I'm not really sure what they're going on about because Wannabe's not really using a lot of mech. We're actually going to see a confrontation here. Hellion's going to pick off the bio, and then once the tank sieges up, be able to do a bit of damage here, but actually these blue flame hellions should be able to melt along with four siege tanks. Should be able to break through. Oh, I'm calling this battle wrong completely. Actually, want to be managed to break through that tank line. Very, very little problem. Siege tank almost goes down, but he can repair that if need be. And this infantry is going to move forward uh, right into some blue flame hellions and apparently a couple siege up tanks. That really is not an engagement he wants to be in. I don't believe he'll be able to win that at all, and there's no chance there. Quiet Rice manages to clean that up quite nicely. Reinforcements being brought in here, but that's not a wise decision. He's actually going to be killed quite quickly. That siege tank with low health was taken down by those Hellions, who actually don't kill anything, but apparently were able to kill a very low health siege tank. Sports by TQ want to be moving around the side, trying to maybe flank and do a bit of damage that way. I do believe I heard a stem forward. Uh, yeah, I think I did just by the way they're moving, but that wasn't a very smart stem. Scan goes down. I don't know who scan that is, but they're scanning something. Medvacs come in to heal up those uh, well, stemmed units. As Quiet Guys moves forth to take a fourth base moves forth. <laughs> I'm so clever. Uh, we do see supplies are uh, still fairly in Kauai Rice's favor, but this drop by TQ Wannabe is something that he has to do to try and get himself back in the game. He has to inflict some damage here. Uh, actually be able to drop across this fairly undefended mineral line. Hellions do get back fairly quickly, but he's not pulling SCVs. Stim goes forward trying to kill as many SCVs as possible, and he does manage to take out quite a few. Command Center lifted off, and uh, away from this drop. Siege tank sieged up, trying to inflict any damage. Kawhi Rice is a little bit stuck here. He's not really sure what to do. Siege up a tank on the low ground. He does have vision with these Vikings. And Hellions are going to move and intercept this drop. Bio doing quite well. But Hellions are, again, quite good against Bio. And the Siege Tank is basically left to die as the medback goes off. Uh, dies to these Vikings, who are then landed and uh, kill everything on the ground. So, that was actually decent harass. I like how many workers he killed, but he was unable to uh, save the force. Would have been nice if he could have maybe saved it and used it for additional harass. Either way. Supplies were equalized a little bit by that. You see 1-1 one, one upgrades on the infantry for TQ Wannabe. And on the mech, we do see 1-0 for Kauai Rice. Uh, two different styles converging here. We're going to see exactly who wins this one. Although it has been quite an interesting match so far. Kauai Rice letting his minerals get a little bit high. I don't know if he's saving for something, but he is having a lack of gas. Uh, siege tank up on the uh, the ramp here, doing some significant damage to the bio army, but it's going to be able to blast through. Landed Vikings are going to come through and add some DPS, but these siege tanks will be able to blast away at them. Uh, doing some decent damage there. Vikings are lifted off so the siege tanks can no longer hit them and this course base is forced to fly off and uh, hopefully return to sea another day. Supplies are starting to equalize here. TQ want to be doing a very good job of getting himself back in this game. Uh, he's doing exactly what he needs to. He's putting just enough pressure on Kauai Rice to make him feel uneasy uh, while at the same time sitting back at home and back going up.
do see a force command center going down there. We lifted off to take another base. Uh, Kawhi Rice is actually still sitting quite well in terms of supply, but he is under a little bit of pressure here. He's on a bit of the defensive foot, and uh, as a StarCraft player, personally, I never like to be on the defensive foot. It's always better, I think, to be on the offense. Uh, if you're on the offense, you can expand a macro behind it, and uh, as if you're on the defense, you're pretty much contained into where you are. Offensive missile turret being put here by Tiki. You want to be to prevent any Vikings from sailing forth. Loaded fully, three fully loaded up medbacks. Moving around the side to probably do a drop. I'd have to assume two sieged up tanks here. Three Hellions. I think the tanks win that every time, but here comes the rest of the force, and these tanks are going to be able to clean up the tanks from Wannabe. This missile turret is not going to see any daylight at all. Actually, it just gets completed just before it gets blasted away in the siege tank on the high ground. Not enough to hold off the full army of Kawaii Rice. Two Vikings going over by Wannabe to give the medbacks a little bit of support. Hellions are going to chase forth and kill some individual units. This command center is going to be able to come back here and land. It looks like it's a little bit far away from the minerals, but uh, maybe not. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Uh, supplies now starting to get more in Kawairais' favor as he is able to uh, to macro up again. Just see another command center. We've taken fourth to take a fifth base. And uh, where that drop go? We see this going around the side. Uh, missile turrets here are obviously able to defend uh, the drop from there, but this actually gave the army of Kawairais time to get back. And uh, I don't think this force from Wannabe is going to be enough. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be able to do a bit of damage, but those siege tanks are going to be able to uh, inflict damage from afar. And obviously Bio melts the siege tanks. Remember I made that point earlier about uh, about the fact that Bio is very weak to siege tanks. Medvacs go down, unable to pull these marauders out of there as a result, so they're going to have to sit here and fight to their death. Uh, didn't do enough damage there at all. Hardly did any damage to Kawhi Rice, actually. He was able to pull back his army in time. In the meantime, we see a force by TQ want to be moving out here, uh, able to maybe take care of this, except these siege tanks will be able to handle this no problem. That's a lot of siege tanks. You don't want to be attacking right into a tank line, you have to be trying to do drops, which is what Wannabe is doing. All well, those drops are getting nicely thwarted by Kawaii Rice as well. Uh, going bio means you have a very mobile army, and a mobile army is uh, very lends itself very well to doing drops. Fourth base is taken by TQ Wannabe, which again is it's kind of a small base uh, with a rich Vespian geyser, though no gold minerals. So uh, he does get the additional gas pulled from that, although he will be suffering a little bit on the minerals. Although uh, TQ Wannabe doesn't seem to be in uh, short supply of gas, although he is running short on minerals, so maybe that's not the best choice of base to take. But here's a tank blasting away on the bio, uh, which are tanks, multiple tanks, which will have to be forced to retreat. These tanks are still sitting at 1-0, and no additional upgrades have come through yet for TQ Wannabe on his infantry. We do see the choir is trying to get the upgrades going here, well... T, uh, TQ Wannabe just sits back and tries to build more units. Uh, Quire still has a supply advantage here. Quire has forces move around the side trying to intercept, and these tanks actually will be able to rain hell down upon these marauders and tanks. Actually, I don't... Yeah, this was a very good engagement by Quire. He managed to flank the side with tanks. Uh, even unseaged up, they still do a lot of damage. A couple marauders moving here. That won't do anything at all. And, uh... Quire might be sensing some sort of a moment here. He's moving his siege tanks forward to try and take out this fourth base. And actually, all these SCVs are going to come in basically just die to a whole bunch of siege tanks. You manage to take one down, two down, and the third one down. Actually, that's not bad. A couple marauders back for support. Uh, managed to take out these tanks. Quite nicely played, but here comes the rest of the army for Kawhi Rice, and uh, that will stop any little force from moving out by wannabe. This force continues to move forward, sieging up and leapfrogging. Uh, that's how you're supposed to micro with tanks, and Kawhi Rice is doing a very nice job. Meals dropped here to try and gain what minerals they can before this base is basically taken out. We see Vikings are in production and more Marauders trying to stand withstand that tank fire with Marauders. Not a bad idea, but he's been unable to, so far to produce enough Marauders to uh, to withstand this tank line. Supplies are still at a big disparity. Want to be being in the uh, on his back foot, trying to regain his supply. Quiet, right, sitting back comfortably and uh, being able to increase his supply at will. Seemingly, want to be running units in there needlessly into the tank line. He did very little damage with that. That was wasted units. Scan goes down to see exactly what he's facing, but here comes the rest of the army from Kawaii Rice. Hellions and Marines move forward, tanks siege up, and are able to blast away at what small forces Wannabe has left. And there goes the GG by Wannabe. He understands that uh, this tank line was a little bit too much for him to handle as Kawaii Rice is moving into his fourth base, and the meals are basically stopped. Uh, both players left the game. I do believe the Observer is still in, which is why we're still seeing this happen. There goes the Observer, and the replay is over. Well, this has been game one of uh, Kawaii Rice versus Wannabe. I do believe my... Uh, my co-caster, if you will, although we're not doing the same replays. Uh, Skittles will be doing game two of this, and uh, potentially game three if we do see uh, Wannabe move this back into a winnable position for the best of three series. And around to 32, LPS, StarCraft 2, open number two. My name has been Copo, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the cast, and uh, we'll be bringing you lots of round of 32 content. 
for this particular tournament. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.